Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will explain how the Windows Registry is useful during a digital forensic investigation. If you want to know what the Windows Registry is all about and why it is valuable in digital forensics, I invite you to read this article in MCSI's library. You can find the link to this article in the description box below. In this demonstration, I will show you two tasks using the Windows Registry. First, I will configure an application to start whenever a user logs into the computer. Then I will show you how you can find information about recently used documents within the registry. We will then discuss about the significance of these two tasks in digital forensics. I will open the registry editor application. First, I will add an entry in the registry to start up Notepad application whenever a user logs into the system. Within the HKey local machine hive, I will navigate to the software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Run Key. I will add a new string value to this run key, just by performing a right-click in this white space. The name is provided as Notepad. When I double-click this name, I can add the value. And the value is the absolute path of the Notepad executable. Now I will log out and log back in. You can see that right after a user logs into the system, Notepad application is started automatically. Now, this is a legitimate application. Cyber attackers may modify the registry run key and configure malicious applications to run when a user logs in. Knowing where the registry run key is may help you identify some malicious auto start programs on the computer. Let's take a look at another one. Within the documents folder, I will edit this text file, sample. I will add some text and save this file. Within the registry, I will show you that we can find information about recently modified files. I will open the registry editor application again. Within the current user hive, I will navigate to the software. Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Explorer, Recent Docs Key. Within the text subkey, we will find information about recently modified text files on the system. Here in the center pane, we can find one entry with the name zero. The data appears to be hex bytes. I will double-click the name. In this window, you can see the same hex data in the center. The hex data is displayed in ASCII in the right pane. Here, you can see the name of the text file that I modified recently, sample. Interesting, isn't it? Using tools to parse the registry, you can find the timestamp of when a file was recently modified. It is possible to find information about files modified by cyber adversaries. The findings you observed from the Windows registry is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many more forensic artifacts within the registry. When you are aware of the artifacts you can find, and where you can find them, you can easily locate them during an investigation. Within memory dumps, you can recover registry entries that underwent modification recently. I encourage you to read the book titled, Windows Registry Forensics, by Harlan Carvet. It is a great resource to point you in the right direction. The registry is one of the top forensic artifacts on a Windows computer. 
Along with other artifacts like event logs, application data and prefetch files, you will be able to formulate the incident timeline. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI's YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!